I was still grinding my teeth at night. It's weird, I didn't change anything. It did hurt, it definitely hurt. You can see a significant difference. It was so uncomfortable all day. And of course, like I was a little lispy. Okay, it's day two with Invisalign. The first 24 hours was definitely difficult for me, mostly mentally. It was just very hard to like get used to having something on my teeth. And it just, it wasn't as painful as I thought it would be. It was definitely like you could feel the pressure and it was difficult at night. It woke me up because I felt pressure and I don't know, maybe I was grinding my teeth at night and maybe that's why like I tried to grind on the aligners and I can't really align my teeth with the aligner zone like I used to because I had overbite. So you can see when I close, this is what it looks like now, but it used to be an overbite. So maybe that's why that woke me up. So a part of being woken up at night, feeling pressure pretty much the whole time I have a liner zone, I take them off to brush my teeth or eat or drink colorful drinks. You can drink water with a liner zone. And technically, if you use a straw, you can also drink tea and other colorful drinks, although they do not recommend it. But I did drink tea um, today with a straw and I don't know. I feel like it's fine. Yeah, it's definitely a discomfort. It's not super comfortable, but you don't really think about it. So even though my teeth don't hurt right now, with the liners on, whenever I eat something that I have to chew on, definitely the bottom teeth hurt. So I'm definitely feeling like I need to eat more like soft food, soups. I try to avoid eating anything that I have to really chew on. Even like toasted bread, I was trying to chew on it and it was painful. That's something I hope will pass in the next few days, as soon as my teeth will get used to those aligners. But that's just one thing that I have noticed. Another thing is I still feel like I'm talking with lisp, especially when I'm using S sound. So yes, with S, which there is a lot of words with S. So it's pretty annoying. I definitely feel like I'm talking with lisp. Let me know. People tell me that they can't hear it, they can't tell that I have the Invisalign on, but I don't know, I'm very self-conscious. One more thing, which is frustrating, and I wish they would tell me that in the office, it's very hard to take those aligners off. And the top ones come off easily. They taught me to basically start with one side, the other side, from the inside, and like slowly take it off. But with the bottom ones, I can take off the sides, no problem, and get stuck here. I still have that issue and it's still pretty frustrating. I'm gonna buy a tool that will help me take those off because I feel like it's just so frustrating that they didn't actually give me that tool. I feel like that's something, I don't know, should be attached with aligners and I'll have to buy it. They also told me to brush the aligners with a toothbrush and my regular toothpaste and I did it, but I don't know. The top ones are fine, but the bottom ones definitely smell already. So I think I will try using a denture cleaner. They have special liner cleaner tablets that I will buy, but for now I do have a denture cleaner for mouth guard. So I will try that and see if it's gonna help. It's not that big of a deal. Like I can't really taste it or, or smell it right now, but like whenever I take them out and I wash them, I'm like, mm, it smells a little bit. So for the first day, I would say the things I didn't expect was how hard it would be to take those aligners. And definitely get a tool if you can and buy it on Amazon. I'm gonna link the one I'm gonna get down below in the description box. Get a tool to take the aligners off. Always keep a case on you in the car, in the bathroom, on your desk. Just have a case so you don't have to like take the aligners off and put it somewhere. You don't lose it, you know, that definitely helps. The other thing is get an app that will help you track how long you keep the aligners on. It's been so helpful for me. There are a few different apps. I'm gonna link the one I use below, not sponsored, but it's been helpful because it reminds me to put the liners on whenever I'm finished eating or brushing my teeth. Uh, and it also shows me like, hey, you've been wearing the aligners for 22 hours or 20 hours. And it helps me like track if it's working for me. And I also can take pictures of the progress, which is great. Also, I wanted to show you what they gave me at the orthodontist. They gave me those chewies. That's what it looks like. Basically, they want you to chew on it after you put the aligners on and also at least for an hour during the day. So if you were watching TV or something, just take this and chew on it. It helps to 
put down liners back in place so there's no gap it's okay it doesn't hurt so that's good it hurts when you press on your aligners when you, you know you're trying to close uh, th that is uncomfortable but with this tool it doesn't really hurt and they gave me this in a little baggie and this is my actually fourth case which is the official case that's the fancy one and also cleaning crystals which they are expensive that's why i'm looking to just get an alternative this is such a fancy case it's magnetic so that's a nice one and it also comes with a manual so if you forget what they told you at the dental visit you can go back and read it here because i was actually hoping that they would give me like a summary of what they were talking about because like i was so stressed out and they were trying to rush me out so i feel like i didn't really absorb everything what they were telling me so it would be great to, like if they would attach a note i don't know they didn't do it but it's fine and in that baggie here they also just gave me 25 sets of aligners this is what it looks like i have two boxes so 25 in total and then after i'm done with them i will go back for another scan and they will make adjustments. I guess they will decide what they want to change at that point. I think it's 175 days away and my full treatment is 18 months. So we'll see. So far, I feel like I'm getting used to it. it I definitely feel much better than yesterday. Yesterday was just difficult. It was so foreign to me to have those aligners in my mouth and having those attachment that are glued to your teeth that's so annoying because like whenever i eat i tend to bite my my lips now because they are sticking out and so yeah my lips on the inside are like totally chewed on i feel like they don't really talk about that you will get those little attachments glued onto your teeth and they are a little uncomfortable definitely especially when you eat so yeah technically like invisalign is invisible kind of but you take it off and there are those attachments on your teeth that technically i don't think anyone would notice but they are there your teeth will feel bulky and it will be a lot harder to eat i'm gonna do my research and see what other accessories i can get for my treatment that will make my life easier because for 18 months it will be nice to get some gadgets that will make this process a lot more comfortable i feel like also drinking water helps Whenever I have like dry mouth, like I, I start to sound more lispy. It's Friday, three days after I got my aligners and I'm definitely feeling like I'm getting used to it. And I did get some accessories. I got special remover from Pool. I bought it on Amazon for two. I think I paid like around $15. So a pretty good deal and it has the, what do you call it? Like a little rubber thing to make sure that you put your aligners back in place like basically after you put them back on so after you put them back on you just chill a little bit on these but it's funny because like i think yesterday i finally i feel like i get like comfortable taking these aligners off and i can just do it with my fingers super quick and easy what i started doing like really religiously is to chew on these little chewies that's what they call it, chewies. And yeah, my, my orthodontist didn't really explain to me why. They just said, oh yeah, chew on these for an hour a day. And I was like, wow, an hour? That's a long time. And I started like researching a little bit more and I found out that you don't have to chew on these for an hour. What you should do, you should chew on these for five to 10 minutes, three times a day, which seems a lot more approachable so what i do i just usually have one next to my desk where i work and one next to my couch where i usually sit in the evening so because of it it's very easy for me to remember and to actually chew a little bit on these because this is actually very important i was just reading a lot like other people's experience with invisalign and with other aligners and a lot of people say that sometimes they have issues with tracking so basically if they have to do refinements or just the whole treatment takes longer it's usually because their teeth don't track and to fix that you have to chew on these little chewies basically it helps to just get the aligners in place first of all because when you put aligners on sit fine but like sometimes you have a, a little gap here so this helps with that gap close the gap 
Uh, the other thing that actually like sold me on chewing these is that uh, whenever you chew on these, your brain gets a message that it has to start moving your teeth. So it just helps with the whole process. This is just your reminder to have these chewies on hand. I got two for my orthodontist, but you can also get them on Amazon. So yeah, they are just little like squishy rubber things. They have no scent, but you can get the scent ones. Maybe I'll get the mint ones, but yeah. And I keep one in this little case and the other one I have in my professional, prof professional <laughs> dental case. Yeah, three days in, I feel a lot more comfortable with these aligners on. I can easily take them off just with my fingers, not even with the tool, which is great. So whenever I'm on the go, it's just so much easier and it takes a lot less time before it was stressful. Like I was like, oh my God, I'm already at the restaurant. I gotta rush and rush back home, but I have to take it off and it takes me five minutes. So I was just a little stressed out, but now I feel like I'm a lot more forceful taking these off before I was just like scared that they will break. Of course, they tell you in the manual, don't, don't be too forceful. You don't want to break them, but you will get a feel for it. You will see uh, how much you can really bend them. Of course, don't bend them when you take them off, but you can lift them and push it out and it's just much easier. So basically, you will get a feel for it. Don't worry if it's your first day. Yes, it's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be difficult, but Day three, it's like my second nature now, lisp. So with lisp, I would say what helps is drinking a lot of water. Whenever my mouth feels dry, if I do a lot of talking, I feel like my lisp with the Invisalign is a lot more pronounced. Like right now, for example, I should just drink some water. You see, much better. Yeah, water and another thing, they say don't eat with the aligners on, but if you have, I don't know, maybe a mint candy or something, definitely helps if you just chew on that. But water, I would say, is number one. It really helps with the lisp because, yeah, I actually had an interview yesterday and the lady on the other side had to ask me a few times to repeat myself because she couldn't understand me. And I think it's also because, like, I was so hyper aware that I had the light liners on and it, it just, like, believed that she's not going to understand me. So, I don't know. Like, Kind of make it reality in a way drink a lot of water and that will definitely help and i feel like i'm getting better it just takes some time you have to forget that you have these on because if you like feel it and if you think about it you will kind of place your tongue in those places where you shouldn't if you don't think about it your brain will automatically just talk like you wouldn't have anything on your teeth like right now it sounds much better than when i started recording that video even in my work meeting this morning i was like oh no i have aligners so i'll have to talk in the meeting oh no oh no and of course, like I was a little lispy, but if I like would be like, no, not a big deal. I feel like it wouldn't be. So it's all mental, I think. Yeah, it's just they feel like they are much bigger, but they are not like, you have a lot of room in your mouth to place your tongue so you can pronounce words correctly. I'm still loving the Trayminder app. It, it makes it so much easier, the whole experience. It also reminds you when to put your aligners back on, which is so much easier than using any timers. It just is great. Today, I actually had to run some errands after lunch and I was like, oh, if I'm gonna keep my aligners off for that whole time, it's gonna be too long. So I actually put them back on without brushing my teeth and without using a mouthwash. And I don't know why, it just it felt like it was such a bad idea. But quite honestly, I'm relieved that I did it because it took me like one or two hours to get back home. So yeah, I'm glad that I put aligners back on because it would be way too long break without them. And yeah, as soon as I got back home, I brushed my teeth, I flossed and my aligners didn't smell or my teeth were fine. So I would say, look, ideally, brush your teeth right after and before putting Invisalign on, but if you don't have the chance, it's fine. I also ordered Listerine tablets, which is supposed to be like a mouth for sure placement on a go. I will see. Apparently it tastes really bad, so I probably will stick with my mints. I think I'm a lot more excited, especially because I looked at my 12th tray of aligners and the, the top teeth looked pretty straight in it. Okay, so I was looking at the trays here and here is the tray number two. I currently have number one on my teeth. And this is number 12. And I was just comparing. And you can see a significant difference between number two and number 12. Ten weeks later, like they are definitely working mostly on the upper teeth. Which is pretty incredible. Especially comparing that tooth I have in the back there. That was like really just digging into my cheek. 
like that's supposed to be fixed it does look like it it's not fully fixed but it's so close the bottom one it looks like they're not working it just yet uh here this is still like sticking in so take a look so after 12 weeks the upper uh teeth will look much better also seeing progress on other people i've been just like looking at reddit and other places to just find before and after like it keeps me motivated and like more excited about the whole process because it is 18 months it's gonna be a long time knowing that my teeth will start to look better a lot sooner is definitely motivating okay so it's monday and it's exactly one day until my aligner two so that's super exciting i haven't really film any update on uh, the past couple of days. I feel like I'm getting used to talking in the liners, but I've noticed that like yesterday, my that part was really irritating my like inner lip and it just, it was so uncomfortable all day. And today's better. I don't know, it's weird. I didn't change anything. It just, I guess it, it changes. And it's sometimes your skin will be irritating, sometimes not. I've been still doing chewy exercises, which are great so i always try to remember about that and yesterday i tried using retainer bright to clean my aligners because i've noticed that they had some stains and it worked i think i put it in for five minutes and it looked a lot better right after but they do not advise you to use it i did it because i knew that i would replace my aligners in a few days so i was like yeah, just let's do it let's see it tasted funny my aligners after i did brush them Yet, they still had that retainer bright scent and flavor, which is weird, I don't know. So, I don't know, I wouldn't use it every day, but I'm glad I just tested it and it was fine. You probably should just use those crystals. Your eyeliners won't have that scent, which is annoying. But it evaporated after 30 minutes. I still have issues with sleeping through the night. I often wake up and I feel like I have to like really stretch my jaw. I wake up feeling like I'm really pressing on my eyeliners and it's probably because I'm grinding. And I guess before, when I didn't use to wear aligners, I would still do it, but I would just sleep through it. And it's weird, it's a weird sensation. So I keep waking up at least a few times at night. I feel tired. So I think it's because of that. And I really hope I will like stop grinding my teeth. That would be great. I heard some people do Botox like on your jaw muscles, but I don't know, <laughs> like it's scary to inject that, but apparently it works. So if you have any experience with that, let me know. Uh, I don't know personally anyone. I just saw people online talking about it. I definitely have the issue with that. So yeah, I keep waking up. My practice makes perfect. And I've noticed that the past few days I've been able to take off my aligners like so much easier. I don't even need a tool anymore. It's much easier. And I try to keep my aligners on for 22 hours. I'm really trying to be on top of my game because I want the best effects and as soon as possible. I don't want to do millions of refinements because I started reading on it and I'm like, wow, a lot of people, they have a treatment that is, let's say, two years and because they need to still fix their smile, it ends up taking much longer, like three years, four years. And I really don't want that. That's what they told me at the orthodontist office and that's what I'm reading online. I'm really trying. So... I guess that's it for now for this update. Day six, technically. I'm excited for tomorrow. Okay, so today is Wednesday and yesterday I replaced my first tray. I'm currently wearing the second tray. I wasn't even able to tell a difference between those. Like, I definitely felt a little more pressure, but it wasn't like painful or super uncomfortable. It was definitely better than when they first put the tray number one. I guess I'm just getting used to it. I was still grinding my teeth at night. Maybe once I slept without waking up since I got my aligners. So that's definitely a problem. I don't know what to do, quite honestly. I'm so I'm considering getting Botox, but I'm just so scared and afraid. And I don't even know if it's gonna help. So I don't know what to do. I'm hoping it's, I'm just gonna used to it and I'm gonna stop grinding my teeth or it's gonna stop waking me up. So we will see. I had a weird situation with my orthodontist because I found out that I actually had coverage from my first insurance, but they charged my second insurance. So there is an issue with that. 
and I don't really know what they're gonna do. And that means that I'm actually losing $1,500 because they made a mistake and they didn't check if I had coverage with my first insurance. I'm upset with them, but what am I gonna do? So I don't know. Yeah, technically, I would, yeah, I would save $1,500, which is a lot of money. We'll see what they're gonna say. I'm waiting for them to respond. Oh, the interesting thing is that when I was taking my second tray off this morning for the first time, it was so easy. It was incredibly easy. Basically, I just pop one side, second one, and it just popped right out, which is great. And it makes me think maybe the first tray, something was wrong with it because it was just incredibly hard for me to take it off. And with the tray number two, it's just, it's super easy. So that's interesting too. Maybe because the tray number two is more bent, it's really trying to move my teeth. Maybe that's why it just, it's, it pops out whenever I press on it, which is great. I slept with my second tray. When I woke up and I had breakfast, it did hurt, <laughs> definitely hurt to chew on toast. So just something to keep in mind, uh, probably avoid any hard foods like toast or nuts on the first day, two days after you put new tray on. But so far, I like second trays so much more because it's just a lot easier to take them off. So that's the update.